Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Labdien, labadiena, tere, buenos dias. I welcome you all to the Herbaltic Academy Open Days today on the 1st of March 2022 here in Riga uh, at Herbaltic Studio. So you can see the nice uh, pictures of our uh, future aircraft. And uh, the presentation will have uh, three parts. It takes about one hour. So the first part, I will introduce two things. One is uh, Air Baltic, which uh, is the end employee and our partner. Then we'll go to Air Baltic training, uh, what we do, how we do, how you are going to be trained, what you are joining. And after the break, we will answer all the questions on the slido.com, which is PA03. Uh, we will show you at the end of uh, the presentation the password and uh, you can go into the slido.com and uh, type your questions, which I will answer at the end of uh, the presentation. And after answering all the questions, we will uh, make a draw on the contents uh, for those who have been uh, participating in, which was published on our webpage. So very welcome today. Uh, it's very nice uh, spring day outside and uh, we with the joy uh, presenting ourselves and, and the Pilot Academy. Uh, who we are and uh, which aircraft you would be flying after the finishing of uh, Pilot Academy of Air Baltic. As you can see on this nice picture, it's Airbus 220-300. Uh, there are two types of Airbus 220s. One is 100 and another one is 300. It's a stretch 100 version. So this is very nice and uh, very modern aircraft. Uh, which has uh, quite a good range and also uh, can carry up to 149 passengers. And Air Baltic has uh, 50 aircraft on the order, 33 delivered, 17 to be delivered. And we are a growing company with 1,700 employees currently, with a big uh, pool of the pilots, is 280, and that will be enlarged to 500 during the next uh, uh, two and a half years. So. When you're joining as pilot to Air Baltic and uh, you have a good opportunity because the airline is uh, growing up and you have a good opportunity to become a captain in four to five years. So you fly two and a half, three thousand hours and you are on the list of first officers who are promoted to senior first officers and then becoming a captain. We are a multinational company, uh, a lot of European, non-European nations are flying with us and uh, we enjoy multinational uh, multinational environment and uh, that is why it's uh, very attractive for those who are non-Latvian, Lithuanian or Estonians to join the airline. Uh, you see the Airbus uh, 220-300, we have 33 as I mentioned, just uh, the last aircraft arrived in uh, two weeks ago and uh, within the April we'll have another two and in May one more so in August and September, a few more will come. So at the end of the year, we'll have a 40, and the next year, 8, and the year 2022, uh, 24 beginning, we have uh, the last two aircraft from the firm orders, which means that uh, we have commitment to, to take those aircraft, and uh, we had also optional of 30 plus. Currently, we are 135 uh, first officers with uh, 145 captains. As you can see, uh, I've been uh, telling you already uh, how that Airbus 220 looks like. And uh, we have destination 2025 clean. That means we don't have Q400s anymore, Boeing 737. We are flying only uh, Airbus 220. And uh, the Airbus 220 is uh, the range 6,200. So we're flying to Dubai, to Tenerife. Uh, six, seven hours flights with full load and uh, we also fly the short sector so it fits both uh, intra-European and a little bit further down in the Middle East and also the south of, uh, of uh, Europe. So we enjoy flying this aircraft already five years. We've been launch customer for the Airbus 2300 in the world and I have very uh, uh, big joy to fly the first commercial in uh, on December some five years ago and uh, we are enlarging that fleet little by little every year and uh, up to 50 which would be 
enough for the market to cover and we are looking for another 30 aircrafts in the future. Uh, why the airline selected uh, Airbus 220? So I will show you uh, the stages. Uh, this is the aircraft. This aircraft is the fourth generation aircraft. And we start in the 1950s, 1960s uh, to, with early uh, commercial jets, which have been full of uh, simple avionic, full of simple cable controls. And that was the Caravellas, uh, the, that was the early stage of uh, McDonnell Douglas uh, jets, which been followed by uh, the next generation, which is second generation of uh, early Boeings and early Airbuses, for example, you see the picture here of Airbus 300 uh, B2, uh, which has a little bit more already uh, functionalities in terms of navigation and in terms of uh, flight controls. Then it came a glass cockpit and FMS inside uh, the aircraft, and that is called the third generation, which is, which is um, Boeing 737, 757, 767s, and uh, uh, different kind of uh, early stages of Airbus 320s. And the fourth generation aircraft is like a 350 Airbus 220, which is totally different and totally enjoyable for, for the pilots and also makes a green and very efficient aircraft to fly. Uh, we look closer and we can see how modern that cockpit looks like. And you as a, a, a cadet from the Pilot Academy go immediately without any steps in such a modern jet. And uh, it has a few screens which you can divide, you can change. I fly myself Airbus uh, 220 and also been flying a lot of Boeings before and other types. So this, uh, this aircraft is really enjoyable for the flying and also easy to uh, transfer from the other types. Uh, we have also training center in uh, Riga. We have dedicated Airbus 220 simulator, which is also um, very fresh. Together with aircraft, uh, a year later we received the simulator, and all our pilots are training on that uh, CIE made 7000 XR simulator, which is uh, really very modern and uh, allows to feel exactly what you would be feeling in, in the cockpit. How many pilots we need? Uh, it's always the question, should I join the airline? The airline is growing, do they need the pilots? Here is the answers. If you look at uh, the, the one side of the slide, which is the pilot need, uh, due to COVID, uh, we have stopped uh, our pilot exception and we had an excess of pilots. So we will be uh, releasing the pilot for a time being and they are, now all of them are returning back to the airline. So nevertheless, uh, this season from September until end of May, we are training 120 pilots. And part of those pilots are coming from uh, uh, the list of continuous employment. Those pilots who've been working for the airline, they are returning back. We took almost all. And we took all uh, cadets from the Pilot Academy. So for 40 uh, Pilot Academy cadets are joining the airline. As you can see on the right side, so. Uh, we have released uh, 12 pilots uh, during 2019 and 2021 we have uh, another 24 employed and during 2024 we'll have about 40 uh, pilot academy guys employed. Totally, uh, totally 80 plus from 107 who have been in academy. And uh, another guys are joining Academy in 2020 and 2021. They will be released uh, for the flying in 2023. So if you join it now, so you can see that we need another 50 pilots by 2024, 2025. And that is where we are going to fit. So uh, the Pilot Academy can, can do about 60 pilots per year. But due to COVID, we are now doing 48. What is the Pilot Academy itself? So uh, we are linked to the airline. So that is the major message. So we are airline academy. So we are pilot academy for the airline. And we are training on first generation general aircraft, general aviation aircraft. Your training aircraft is also very modern. You will see in a couple of minutes. And you are going to join the first generation aircraft in the airline. And that is why we have the program which is starting from day one as airline pilot program. So the standards of airline piloting is from the day one. 
So you would be joining that integrated training. That means without interruption from uh, start to the end, it takes 18 to 22 months. Why it's not 20 exactly? Because the weather conditions could be up and down. So uh, it's not all the days are usable for the flying because initially we need to have a, a let's say sky clear and no wind days then uh, together with progress of your experience those conditions are changing to instrument and depending on the weather your progress could either accelerate or a little bit be slower but average is about 18 to 22 months and uh, when you sign a contract it's written inside and uh, at the end you will you will be uh, joining the airline. We use the newest training aircraft, which is Diamond 40 and Diamond 42. And also we have dedicated simulator of Diamond 40 and Diamond 42 here in Riga. Best practice from the airline instructors. All instructors which are working in our academy are the pilots from the airline. So that is also one of the big advantages because we transfer the knowledge from the operation into the theory. And pilot work offer at Air Baltic after Uh, apologies for the technical uh, delay, camera stopped working, so now it's back. So I had a chance to zip a little bit of water because uh, uh, when you're talking long, uh, you need to have a little bit zips. So we stopped at the best uh, practice and quality from our airline instructors. So as I mentioned, our instructors are pilots from the airline and they are transferring you uh, the knowledge from the operations in theory. So we have both sides. You're growing your theoretical knowledge and you receive your advice from operational experience. And uh, at the end of the program, uh, you will be offered a pilot work at Baltic after successful selection of psychological assessment, which is uh, uh, one of the requirements from European Aviation Safety Agency. Here is the program and the uh, program is divided in several blocks uh, and uh, you will finish the theoretical part. Then you're going flying, you return to theoretical, you're going flying, you return to simulator training, you're going flying. And then at the end you return for the MCC and uh, you are flying also UPRT, which is uh, upset prevention recovery training in a specific uh, aerobatic airplane uh, to feel all the G's uh, to understand uh, what it means undesired aircraft states. And it takes uh, about 1,000 plus hours, it's 1,103 hours exactly, and it takes 18 to 20 months. If you divide that amount by the hours, it, uh, it, you will see that uh, you need to dedicate yourself to, to training a lot. So what is the Diamond 40 and Diamond 42? Why we have selected the aircraft? As you've seen before, the Airbus 220-300 is really modern, so we need, we're very looking for the aircraft which meets our requirements. So, and Diamond 40 and Diamond 42 is also a composite, composite aircraft and it has very uh, nice uh, and very modern Garmin 1000 NXI. Now we have NXI2 uh, modernization of the, of, of the avionics. And this is uh, more or less the same as you would be seeing in, in your cockpit of Airbus 220. The same ground proximity, traffic collision avoidance, uh, a lot of different systems which are light fast vectors and so on are present in this aircraft and uh, even it has synthetic vision which we as
Welcome back. So after the technical camera overheated, as the operator was telling, so we switched on uh, uh, the air conditioning here in the heavy mode. Now I will be coming a little bit snowy, so or chilly, but it doesn't matter. We just continue. And uh, uh, for generation aircraft, I stopped with the Diamond 40 and 42. So if you look at the cockpit, uh, you will see the same same layout that you can see in Airbus 220. The second big advantage of uh, Diamond 40 and Diamond 42 is uh, economics and uh, is eco-friendly engines. So we don't use the petroleum, uh, which uh, is mostly used for uh, the training flights. And uh, those engines are burning 30% less and the emission is by 50% less because it uses uh, the new technology engines and they are silent, uh, they are very efficient in terms of, of uh, the flying and it doesn't have uh, two levers, it's the same as the jet engine, it has only one lever for the engine and you throttle it forward, it gives you power. So uh, we are very enjoying those aircraft and uh, that is how it looks, our dual engine flying from, from the factory in Austria over the Alps and uh, uh, the fleet of uh, Diamond 40 and Diamond 52 on our hands now grew up to nine. Uh, and uh, next year we'll take the last from, from our firm orders and we have options for another five aircraft. It will very much depends on economical situation in the world. And we are sufficient for the 50 pilots to fly today with nine aircraft and 10 aircraft will add us capacity to grow up our output up to 60 pilots. We to have a two operational bases, as I mentioned, one is in Riga, which is theoretical simulator training and a bit of instrument flying. And we have dedicated uh, hangars with the maintenance and also base for the piloting, which you will spend most of the time flying in Liepa, which is the coast city of Latvia nearby the sea with very nice uh, sandy beach and a very good time to relax. And also, as the winters are hard, uh, from time to time we're not able to fly during the winter as we, we like, uh, we are going to move at the winter of this year to Castellón in Spain uh, with the part of our aircraft for the flying into, uh, uh, during the winter. The selection process. So, if you decide to apply, go to pilotacademy.com, you will find all the references and you will be uh, going through the selection process. To start, just apply. Con uh, so the, the, you send the application, uh, instructions are how to send that application is available on our web page and then our team will cons consolidate your applications and will look through. If you're matching, uh, matching uh, 18 years old, you have finished secondary school and you have a willingness to join, then you go into math, physics and uh, uh, it's about 30 exercises in each. It's not like a high school degree exam. It's just to check that you would be able to understand what instructors are bringing to you and uh, that you would be able to calculate the angles to calculate some mathematical formulas. Then we go to the general mental abilities, which is also online. So you will have a, a little of uh, different tasks to do. And then you collect your general mental ability scores. Then when you finish that uh, and you pass through, then you come to Riga and we do the psychological assessment one-to-one, -one, which uh, is needed just to see you, to answer and receive the questions and to look at your profile in accordance with the aviation uh, requirements. When you finished, you come to final interview at the same day and uh, our chief pilots uh, from the airline and from academy head of training uh, will have uh, a bit of talk to understand your willingness, to understand your results. And then we issue a letter for the, financing, for, for the financing support. With that letter, you can come to the bank, you can come to your loan institutions and to say, okay, our Baltic is accepting and please provide the money flow. So if you look at the success rate, so from 100 applications, we usually select uh, about 10 pilots. Each step, uh, less and less, and at the end, one of ten is joining uh, the Pilot Academy. 
after you finish Pilot Academy and joining the airline, what you could expect. So we have three first officer levels and three captain levels. I'll show you uh, the average salaries for those levels. And each level has uh, some period of time. So when you finish your line check after uh, introduction into the airline, so you start receiving first officer one salary, which is approximately 40,000 euros net uh, a year. And from that salary, of course, uh, you can pay your loans and uh, you will still have a quite decent amount of money to live. So after 12 months, uh, you move into the, uh, into the first officer level two. It's just calendar 12 months and then you are at the level two. So then after another 12 months, you're going to level three first officer and uh, uh, you stay at that level uh, until you go into the senior first officer before the command. So it could take one year, it could take two years, and uh, usually it takes one year, and then you go into the senior first officer position, which is in between the captain and first officer. But that position is short in the time, because this is already you've been selected as potential captain, and you stay until the captain seat is available. And then you go into the captain level one, and uh, you stay at that captain level for uh, two years, and then captain level two, for another two years and then at the end level of captain three which is approximately up to 100,000 K per year and you can uh, decide to move in three direction either management, instructoring or technical. We have technical pilots, we have managerial pilots and we have instructors and if you move in, uh, in that direction so you can uh, add a little money on top and diversify your knowledge and start sharing that knowledge, either uh, bringing additional value by, as a manager or as a technical pilot, safety pilot, or as instructor. So uh, if you look at your business case, how much money you need to invest and how much money you can get back. So obvious, uh, the break even is, is something in the middle. And after five years, you will be clean of your loans and you will be uh, enjoying the full uh, life of the pilot. That is monetary side. We have also non-monetary side of uh, additional benefits. And uh, what pilots and cabin crew like who doesn't live in uh, Latvia. So they have unlimited uh, home leave tickets. So we, have, we are serving about 80 destinations. So you can fly on home leave tickets unlimited whenever you have a day off. Also, you can take your friends or family uh, for the ID travel. That means uh, the employee of the airline can travel with our airline and also with other airlines at discounted uh, price. You have normal paid vacations, 20 days per annum, working days, and all training, validation, your license fees are covered by the airline. Additionally, you are insured by 100,000 for your OSLAF license. So for example, if you would have uh, some medical constraints to continue flying as a pilot. So we have an insurance company in Swiss who is working with that. And if you're not able to fly anymore, so you can receive uh, up to 100,000 uh, euros compensation because you lost your job. Uh, health insurance is part also of non-financial benefits. And also we have accident insurance 24 seven for all our employees who are flying uh, with the airline. And the Pilot Academy students who are finishing our Pilot Academy have priority to work at the airline. And after, uh, as I mentioned, successful selection psychological, you are joining the airline. And uh, we are training now currently the group of uh, the Pilot Cadets 10. And in April, another group of six Pilot Cadets are joining the airline as well. Now, the major question, how much it costs? You can see here the split. I will show you uh, the total cost is 79,000 euros. So it's split in several parts. Before the joining, you need to pay 9,000 euros. You don't need to pay immediately the rest of the money. So uh, the next batch of the money, which is 20, 30,000 plus 20,000 comes later. I will show you in the next slide. And the last part, 20,000 is just uh, when you almost finish, you're going to MCC. And for those who are selected, so that is airline sponsored loan. So as I mentioned, first 9,000 is before start of the studies. 
Then after approximately four to seven months, uh, you start, uh, you finish your, your solo flight and then you start your hour building and night flying. So before that you need to pay another 20,000. And when you finish that and you start instrument flying, you, you pass the exam that you are able to fly instrument and cross country, then you pay another 30,000 because we need to finance your studies in further. And at the end, 20,000 euros and total is 79,000 euros. Uh, it does not include type rating, which is airline sponsored loan. So you don't need to look for a loan. Uh, you, we, just, we just provide that training and then uh, deduct for the training uh, from your salary within the five years, uh, the amount uh, we've been investing into the piloting. What I want to say, join us today, become professional pilot tomorrow. Uh, at the end of this nice slide with the diamond uh, 40 and I see uh, one of our girls are sitting in the cockpit. So we have also uh, girls and females uh, flying with Pilot Academy and Elena, who, who is uh, in the screen, he, she joined the airline just recently after the finishing the studies and uh, pilotacademy.com is the right address where you can find all the information and you can apply as well.